Hello Redditors of the Internet, Noble Xenon here and welcome back to another Reddit video and today we will be looking at r slash anti-MLM part 16. Let's get started. This first one is from an inspiring and compelling content creator. I'm looking to mentor two millennials grow an online business. Do you have someone in your life this might be a fit for? She joined Rodin and Fields at the age of 19 while a pre-med student working three jobs and being a wife. With a rigorous school schedule, she was looking for a way to make extra income from home. Then, her former middle school teacher shared RNF with her. Sammy said yes to once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to partner with two female billionaire dermatologists that are leaving a legacy behind changing millions of people's lives. She just graduated and is in a great position to start out in the world. Her path with RNF has put her in the top 2% of the company. She is well on her way to earning a free Mercedes Benz, and she is on her way to creating a path to freedom. This is Sammy's unique story. For more information, please search Rodin and Fields IDS. And the photo here really makes this sad. I'm graduating college to be a stay-at-home dog mom and sell skincare from my phone. So she went to college, and instead of trying to find a job in her field, she's just gonna stay home and shill MLMs. This next one is titled, If you haven't seen someone in 10 years, haven't spoken to them in 5 years, and are trying to get them to sell a product to their friends that you've never discussed as something they like or use, it's an MLM. Okay, I'm doing the thing. I've become a Tupperware consultant. Would you be interested in hosting an online party? You still invite people like normal, but they don't have to come over to your house. They just click a link to register and you'll get rewards as a host too. Sorry, it's not for me. That's totally fine. I've heard that a lot today. Yeah, it's a hard sell. I'm a bit surprised, really. Lots of people at work like or use Tupperware. Some of my friends do too, but a lot of them seem to have all that they want at the moment. Yeah, it's easy to get from op shops that nobody buys it much. Doesn't help that most people are aware of and avoid MLMs now. It's not an MLM though. It's literally the grandfather of MLMs. Hans, come shop with me. Black Tuesday at PS9. You are exclusively invited to our one-stop holiday shopping event. November 26th from 6 to 9, and you can see a whole bunch of MLMs including Pampered Chef, Lularo, Sensi, and probably a bunch more, but I'm not gonna read all that. Refreshments will be served, family and friends are all welcome. Now, if someone here knows a little bit about American history, you'd know why Black Tuesday is not the best name for a sales event. This next one is just absolutely disgusting. Today, my boss implemented the change from normal cleaning supplies to Norwex. During her demonstration of how to use the products to clean the bathrooms, I almost barfed. She took the cloth barehanded and dunked it in the toilet bowl, then scrubbed the toilet with the toilet water. Then, she takes the same cloth and uses it to clean the sink, counter, and faucet. When she turned around and saw my good God, what the hell are you doing, face? She says, oh, I know it takes some getting used to, but the silver sucks up all the germs and the microfiber holds it all in. You could wash your face with this and nothing would happen. Then she rubbed the nasty toilet cloth on her goddamn face. I almost quit on the spot. I can't even. I'll be investing in giant rubber gloves and a spray bottle of bleach. And someone in the comments simply replied, What the hell? Honestly, I couldn't have said it any better. I just don't know what goes through the minds of these MLM people sometimes. This next one is advertising to a city with high rates of unemployment from hundreds of miles away. Almost 20 people asked for more info, but hopefully out of those 20 people, nobody went through with this offer. Hi everyone, I'm looking for people who are unable to work a typical 9 to 5 job. It could be due to ill health, disability, or having young children at home. 50 to 150 extra pounds a week. Can you spare 1 to 4 hours a day to retail products online? Send me a message please and I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thanks! Can I get info please? Yeah, of course, can you message me, hun? 
Wow, the hun and everything. She's clearly advertising a pyramid scheme. Don't fall for it. Finally, someone who gets it. And for the hun, it's another case of MLMs targeting vulnerable people because they know they're more likely to say yes. This next one's titled, Maybe It's Maybelline, or Maybe It's The Crushing Debt. This morning, the Starbucks barista asked me if I was sick. I didn't look myself. Nope, this is just what I look like without my makeup. But hey, she thought my hashtag LuLaRoLene and my hashtag LuLaRoLucille were adorable. So amen for hashtag pattern mixing. Coffee and a positive attitude going into this week. At LuLaRo at Lularo Supply, and at Deanne Lularo, hashtag Lularo, hashtag Lularo Sam and Rita, hashtag Lularo Supply, hashtag Lularo Addict, hashtag Style, hashtag Stylist, hashtag Fashion, hashtag Women's Fashion, hashtag Fashion Blogger, hashtag I'm tired of reading all of these damn hashtags, I think all that coffee and all that sugar is getting to your head. This next one is a convo between me and my ex-coworker. Apparently, she's a pure romance seller now. Wish she will stop trying to get minors to join. Dang, when will you be 18? It'll be a while, lol. How old are you? 17, lol. Oof, when your birthday? Maybe I can throw a party for you. Nah, it's okay. It's not till next year. Huh? When? Tell me! Just another layer of disgusting when you realize what kind of items Pure Romance sells. This next one is simply titled Boss Boys. That's right, our bond isn't just for women. Who says men don't want time, freedom, financial freedom, and to create real and lasting change for others? Ladies, don't discount the brothers out here. They are a growing force in our business and I'm so proud of them. Men, don't discount this business as one that's just for women. Everyone wants to look and feel better, and everyone wants more out of this crazy gig called life. Why not you? Hashtag real men do our bond. Hashtag boss boys. Hashtag our bros. Hashtag boss babes. Hashtag equal opportunity. Hashtag business of the 21st century. Well, if by business of the 21st century you mean a business that got even more invasive in the 21st century because of social media, then yes. This next one is satire. If you get some essential oils, drink in slimming keto coffee, and soak your hand in human urine for three days, it will clear right up, hun. Hashtag boss babe. The craziest part is that there are some tweets by the hunbots that look exactly like this. This next one is clearly in deep. Our bond on the road to success. And I bet those 25 cents must be the profit that you've made so far. This next one's titled, Last time I checked, most jobs don't require a membership fee. Amazon Prime, $119 a year. Netflix, $8.99 a month, $108 a year. Spotify, $9.99 a month, or $120 a year. Arbon, $29 a year for clients and $49 a year for business. Wait a minute, $29 a year for clients? So even if you're just a customer, you still have to pay for a membership? This next one's titled, My husband went to a friend's wife's party last night, and he didn't know what it was for. Mostly went to drink with the boys. It smelled like an MLM when I saw the invitation, but then he texted me this morning. My hair's pretty fine, and I love and appreciate his effort, but nope. Oh, what is it? I don't know, help thicken your hair and helps with hair growth because she started using it like a year ago and Am noticed a big difference and she was pregnant and she was saying she'd lose hair with her first baby but with this one, she was fine. It's like oils and crap and you use a lot of shampoo. This crap, you only need a little bit. What is it? Like brand? I use a lot of shampoo because my hair is three feet long, lol. Lol, I know, but I'm just saying she said she used to you a lot and her hair is not even close to yours but now she's using half the size, if not less than half. Monat and Chunky Rice 13 says that Monat has red clover, which isn't safe for pregnant women. This next one is titled, How Do They Keep Making the Names Worse? She left Lularo for its sister company. What if you could be a brand influencer for only a dollar? Would you do it? Starting Monday, for this week only, you can join Epiphany, now Savvy, for only $1. Have you ever considered a side hustle? 
or wanted to know more about Piffany, or wanted new clothes at a great wholesale price, ask me how. At a dollar, there is a zero risk. You can sell as little or as much as you want. Make it a hobby or build a team. It's totally up to you. Brand new fit line coming in January. High quality fitness and athleisure apparel. No minimum monthly sales requirements. No monthly fees. You can sell along with other brands. Have a health or wellness brand? Add Savvy Fit. Work from anywhere. All you need is a smartphone. Snag new styles and prints at a great wholesale price before it's available to the public. No inventory requirement. No shipping. Savvy ships everything direct to your customer. Ground floor opportunity. Savvy is developing even more new brands under its umbrella. You pick and choose what you want. Be the first of your friends and maybe even the first in your area to join us. Questions? Drop a comment below or shoot me a PM. Let's chat. So these MLMs keep rebranding by choosing a word and absolutely destroying it by changing the spelling. But it ain't gonna work with people who do their research. This next one's titled, Guess You Can't Help Me After All. Hey girl, is there anything about your hair you aren't happy with right now? Kinda wish I was balding to be honest. You got anything that can help me? Actually, I've got the perfect product for you and all of you guys know what it is. This next one's titled, yeah, I'm sure that will help. I think the plague is hitting her house, again. Girl, you need some doTERRA on guard products. Have you checked to see if there was a plague doctor around before you spend your precious gold coins on some snake oil? This next one's titled, I've been in this sub way too long with a face palm at the end. I have a great job opportunity for you. What is a good email to send it to? No thanks, I'm not one for MLM. MLM? Multi-level marketing, direct sales, Mary Kay, Avon, doTERRA, Lularo, Norwex, etc. No, I have a job at the prison that you might be interested in. Oh, so sorry. Don't worry, mistakes happen. This next one's titled, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is known as the seventh circle of hell. Hey girl, wanna change lives and build an empire? There should be a tender for entrepreneurs. Like, hey, Wanna have coffee, mastermind, build funnels, measure ROI, and kill it on social media? But there's a difference between actual entrepreneurs and people who just sell MLMs. Unfortunately, I suspect an app like this is probably just gonna be filled with MLM type people and people who have wild startup ideas but have no business sense. Attention everyone, do not join this group if you fall into one of these categories. Weight loss schemes, weight loss coffee, CBD oils, teeth whitening sales, admin blocker, work from home travel agent, injury claims rep, raffle groups, loan shark, broadband seller, pearl party live videos, bitcoin sellers, psychic mediums, facelifts, lip fillers, cosmetic surgery, etc., mystic meg videos, ghost hunters, injury claims sales rep, adult content poster, scammer, work from home recruiter, seller of cheap alcohol or cigarettes, seller of weapons, seller of animals, raffle groups, all groups are monitored, you will be banned without warning. I am not responsible for ads posted. Please report scammers to the admin, especially if they claim to have that so-called admin blocker. This next one's titled, I don't know about you, but I would be livid if Herbalife visited my fourth graders. The hun with the shake shop was being super defensive in the comments as well. Nutrition and energy visited fourth grade yesterday. Students learned the importance of eating healthy and running a business but you can do that without MLMs. This next one is a crap post. Keep an eye out for this one, folks. How would you hide the body of a 165 pound, 78 year old white male who's approximately six feet tall? That sounds suspiciously specific. One, buy a large barrel and some shovels. Two, chop body in half and seal in the barrel. Three, enlist friends to help you bury your time capsule. Four, kill friends and repeat with acquaintances until you have no first-hand witnesses. This is the strangest pyramid scheme I've ever heard of. This is what I like to call multi-level murder. This last one is titled Predators Got to Prey, even when it's banned in the group. Would you let him know that I have a work opportunity that's available repeat like to do it right in his area? The company is Primerica. 
And if he's willing to learn something new, he wouldn't have to pay for the license either. Sorry, the last thing he needs is an MLM. Gotcha, we're a brokerage, like a real estate brokerage, not an MLM. Primerica? That's an MLM, unless you're talking something else. Hi, I'd be happy to talk if you'd like, or if he needs a job. We do durable power of attorney for healthcare and free groceries too, in addition to financial products and service, only if he'd want a job. Again, sorry, MLM is not a real line of work, it's not a job, it's a scam. He is too good a person to prey on others. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Bionic, Peter Dankledge, and Seth Southwell. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.